The protest action along the East Coast and Marara in the vicinity of Buxton has left the candy driver with expenses and loss of revenue, a contractor counting his losses and a pensioner in an embarrassing situation. Uh, I purchased some material on the East Coast today and I hire this canter guy. And why is the way guy in Buxton had a roadblock there and the police directly to the seawall side. So as on the way going, some guys run up to me, stab the canter, and then rob me and take away my money and the materials from the canter. Even my phone they take away too. I had a knife by my neck, tell me if I move, then I'm bore me up. I had a hundred and eighty thousand dollars, eighty three thousand. They take all the money from me. Was a pay the canter guy, and the work I was to do the. the person ended up paying me the workmanship. So that was all the money they take away from me. I had to go so far for drop off some material for you. We get robbed, the material get robbed. I had some money for buy cement, two sling cement, wells going down back, 180,000. I had some change money in my wallet. They take that too. And they break up the counter glass. Then just ask him what me doing there. So I tell him I go in and drop off these things. And then come and pull me up on the canter and start lash up the canter and start search up the canter. And some of them they back at the canter, start throw off the zinc, the plyboard, and the rest of the material went on. What for the rest of the materials? Some one by six um, square heads wood. My name is Gavin LaRose. I'm, I'm 83 years of age. I have a daughter overseas. My daughter entrusts me as a father to do a work for her here in Guyana. And I gave my neighbor, who is a contractor, and I know him well, and I know he's honest and he can deliver on his job. I gave him the job to do a work for her here back in Guyana. I gave him the money she sent or entrusted me with. And he was delivering this job by purchasing the materials. I was taking it to where he had to do the work. When their vehicle was hijacked, the material was robbed of, and whatever money I used to pay him as a laborer or as a contractor to do the job was taken away from him. And I'm left in an embarrassing position now to explain to, to her that the job which we hope to start in the morrow in the morning, cannot now be started. How could I explain this to her? That the money you sent to do something for you, your father cannot deliver on it. And that is my position, right? Because of Guyanese, like myself. And she's in a foreign land. How could that be explained to the world? That's all I have to say.